Imagine this. It's a quiet night in Jena, Germany, and amateur astronomer Maria Schultz is peering through her 12-inch telescope tracking 3I-ATLAS, the third confirmed interstellar comet to visit our solar system. At 1.14 UTC, her photometry software flags a 1.4 magnitude brightness spike over just six minutes. That's a four-fold surge in light, sharp, and non-periodic with no gradual buildup or decay. The light curve shows a flat line, then a vertical leap, then flat again at the new level. No rotation, no echo, no return to baseline. Schultz checks calibration stars, reruns data, and posts the raw plot to a global amateur forum. Anyone else seeing this on 3i slash A T L A S? Within half an hour, observers in New Zealand and Arizona upload matching curves. The pattern is identical across continents. This isn't the rhythmic glow of a spinning nucleus exposing fresh ice. It's a step function in the sky. For context, the famous 17P slash Holmes outburst in 2007 surged 14 magnitudes, but over two days, not minutes. Even 1I slash Oumuamua and 2I slash Borisov never showed anything like this. Photometry demands skepticism. Clouds, camera glitches, or tracking errors can fool small scopes. But Schultz's data is clean. Multiple exposures, consistent comparison stars, no atmospheric distortion. When three more amateurs using different equipment confirm the same curve, instrument error becomes unlikely. Professional surveys like Atlas and PanStars check their archives and find the same jump, timestamped to the minute. A 1.4 magnitude leap in six minutes with no periodicity leaves few natural explanations. Outgassing can brighten comets, but not this fast or cleanly. Fragmentation produces debris clouds with gradual ramps, not vertical walls. The only comparable event, Holmes, had a much slower rise due to a rare shell fracture. Schultz's post spreads across social media, catching the eye of professionals who monitor forums for early warnings. The raw data, now confirmed by four independent observers, presents a technical mystery. An interstellar object behaving in a way no model predicted. The light curve, simple, stark, becomes the first undeniable anomaly. It triggers the next phase, a global relay of data and a scramble to understand what could cause such a leap. This is a hypothetical scenario. No unprecedented events are currently occurring with 3i slash ATLAS. This is speculative analysis of a coordinated global response. Let's explore how the world would react if this happened right now, in November 2025, as 3i slash ATLAS nears its closest solar approach. Buckle up. This is how science moves when the universe throws a curveball. If you're hooked, hit like and subscribe for more deep space mysteries. First, let's ground ourselves in what 3i slash ATLAS actually is. Discovered on July 1st, 2025, by the Atlas Telescope in Chile, C slash 2025 N1 ATLAS, is only the third confirmed interstellar object to pass through our solar system. It's moving at 58 kilometers per second, with an eccentricity of 6.1, the highest yet, meaning it's on a hyperbolic trajectory from the direction of Sagittarius, near the Milky Way's core. Likely billions of years old, it originated in the galaxy's thick disk and measures up to 20 kilometers across. Unlike 1i slash Oumuamua, which had no coma or tail, or 2i slash Borisov, which vented hydrogen, 3i slash Atlas is actively outgassing water vapor and dust even at 3.3 astronomical units from the sun, as seen by the James Webb Space Telescope this summer. It poses no threat, passing inside Mars's orbit but staying 1.8 astronomical units from Earth, about 270 million kilometers away. Yet it carries frozen chemistry from another star system, making any anomaly a potential window into alien worlds. A sudden, persistent brightness jump isn't just data, it's a siren call. The amateur network ignites instantly. Within minutes of Schultz's post, forums explode, and Oakland Observer uploads a matching curve at 121 UTC. A Tucson live stream's chat erupts as viewers see the jump in real time. Screenshots flood Discord and Telegram with coordinates and logs. 
By 200 hours UTC, Skywatch Collective flashes an alert. Non-periodic 1.4 magnitude jump in 3I slash ATLAS confirmed by four continents. Their dashboard lights up with raw FITS files. Traffic surges to 120,000 simultaneous viewers shattering records. Hashtags, hashtag Atlas Anomaly and hashtag Interstellar Spike Trend on X and Mastodon. Live streams pivot to 24-7 coverage. A Hungarian observer overlays synchronized curves with Schultz's. Peaks align perfectly. Sao Paulo undergrads share calibrated data sets, inviting artifact checks that find none. Errors are caught fast, but the anomaly holds. Within 12 hours, terabytes of photometry are archived, reposts multiply globally, and the grassroots relay forces professionals to act. This is 2025 astronomy, transparent, fast, and global. If you've ever spotted something weird in the sky, share it in the comments. Your stories fuel this community. Subscribe to stay in the loop. The institutional response kicks in hard. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the Deep Space Network's overnight shift is upended. Antennas in California, Madrid, and Canberra, scheduled for Mars rovers and Voyager, receive an emergency ping at 3.07 UTC. Immediate radar tracking of 3I slash ATLAS due to verified brightness anomaly. A digital meeting convenes, mission leads, schedulers, NASA HQ. Redirecting means losing 22 hours of Mars telemetry, perseverance, curiosity, M-A-V-E-N data stacking in buffers, risking overflow. Voyager can't store much either, but the anomaly demands action. A fourfold light surge with no natural analog, independently confirmed, radar window closing. Vote. Unanimous override in 17 minutes. The 70 meter dishes pivot, locking onto 3I slash ATLAS. Engineers replan dumps. The decision is logged in red. For 22 hours, humanity's deepest antennas chase one object, trading planetary science for interstellar clues. It echoes Shoemaker Levy 9 or Oumuamua, but amplified by 2025's connectivity. Mars orbiter teams face a tougher call. A 1.2 meters per second delta V burn at 0515 UTC extends viewing by two hours, consuming five kilograms of hydrazine, a tenth of reserves, months of life gone. Simulations confirm end of mission disposal is still viable, but it's a one-way door. The science case wins. No other asset has this geometry for a non-repeating event. Thrusters fire. Instruments activate. The log flags the burn in red, an exceptional sacrifice by engineers who keep these probes alive. Ground telescopes follow suit. At ESO's Paranal, the Very Large Telescope drops an exoplanet transit, months of planning erased at 610 UTC. Gemini North and China's Fast halt their campaigns. Allocation committees scramble. Hundreds of lost hours, delayed grants, upended collaborations. Overrides are rare. Shoemaker-Levy, Oumuamua, but never for a safe comet. Here, it's the anomaly's novelty. Schedulers trade two-minute slots across continents. Keck hands off to La Palma at dawn. IAU channels track handovers and settings. Rivalries dissolve into a unified hunt. Capture every photon. Frustrated PIs vent privately, but consensus holds. Each lost hour is logged as proof elite facilities shelve ambitions for shared discovery. At 7.30 UTC, the IAU Executive Committee convenes under a rarely used statute. Eleven members, presidents, secretaries spanning continents, join a secure call. Quorum. Eight present, two remote, one abstention. Motion. Authorize global coordination for 3I slash ATLAS or lose the window. Debate is brisk. Open data now or risk hype. Vote. 8 to 2 in favor. The president reads, Prioritize 3I slash ATLAS, real-time sharing, no public statements until verified. Logged and circulated I. AU's authority backs the surge. Post-directive professional chatter vanishes. X and Mastodon posts drop 70%. Preprints stall, group chats slow. The silence is a signal. The community holds its breath. Behind walls, sensors speak. Goldstone and Canberra radars log hourly trajectories, 
persistent acceleration four times above solar heating norms. JWST reports a 30 Kelvin thermal excess at three astronomical units, no known process sustaining it. Fermi and Swift detect faint gamma bursts from the coordinates, unprecedented for solar system objects. Each anomaly alone could be a glitch. Together, they defy coincidence. In 48 hours, the world pivots. Telescopes redirect, comms hush, IAU votes 8 to 2. Costs, 22. DSN hours, 5 kilograms fuel, flagship queues cleared. Anomalies, 1.4 magnitude jump, trajectory deviation, thermal excess. Like Shoemaker-Levy or Oumuamua, it teeters on paradigm shift. Analysis stays cloistered, but the response signals import. 3i slash ATLAS, traced to the galactic thick disk, reminds us we're connected by curiosity. From backyard scopes to global gantries, this is how we chase the unknown. Myths persist. Alien tech? But data points to natural processes fueling inquiry. Check NASA's Interstellar Object Hub or ESO feeds for real updates. What's your take on cosmic visitors? Comment below, like, and subscribe. Keep looking up, the universe is calling.